Greetings to you on a day where the rain has been bucketing down. We're also hoping this afternoon, well, rain's goals in a top-notch, top-off of the table clash that bubbles under at a wet and vibrant Sugar Ray Kulu Stadium as APSA Premiership action brings Clermont to life with unbeaten at-home Golden Arrows taking on defending champions Mamilodi Sundowns. One back by Perusnev. <laughs> Clever from Lux Mutizwa, who's broke it through! Mutizwa! Chest wide! Oh, that was beautifully done by Golden Arrows! Brilliant from Mutizwa! It started with Makudela, joining with Muchali. Look at the bridge, and Muchali said thank you very much. And that ball, Mutizwa bridged it, and Muchali played the backhand. But quality performance and nothing wrong with that shot just playing a little, a little bit wide one-on-one -on -one with the keeper i feel he could have just had an extra touch get into the box force the defenders to commit themselves good is one-on-one -on -one against cbc get his eye on the ball langerman with another wave in the attack lovely ball in one no mommy or the sundowns wave upon wave from that left side langerman with the assist morena taps it home and with Sibanda moving one way, he couldn't adjust in these conditions, and they just rolled it over the goal line to Mamelodi Sundowns. There was no chance for the defenders actually to take that ball away from Rena. Even Morena himself, he thought that he had mixed it, but what quality cross coming from Langaman on the left hand side. We did mention that the right back and the left back have been busy for both teams, and rightfully so, that Mukolisi just delayed, delayed, and Langaman took over. But we know him, once he can break there, he will play the penalty spot and look at Morena. Not even sure because he was slipping, just trying to get a foot on the ball, and it resulted in a goal. There's that corner, so troublesome from Leke, that's four that have looked as though they might just go in. And Sibanda is having a nightmare dealing with those corners, a nightmare. Mjali. Good ball! Oh, it's a good chance. That's Matizwa with the best chance of the second half arrows. But look at Mjali's set piece. He doesn't put power again. He just clips it in and Matizwa is at the right place at the right time. Mutizwa once again popping up on this right side, finds the teammate inside the box. Can they send it up for the shot? Yes, is the answer! One run! Oh, that was a deserving of that equalizer! They've got and they'll go with a mistake! They've not, they not, they not, and let me tell you what happened. Mutizwa just went on to the right hand side, got that ball from Muchali, put a quality cross that was not dealt with in the penalty area, and what a shot! That Piri had and Oyango, it was thought it's so easy. Forgetting the ball is slippery season. Once again, he just slipped under his feet. They are a tough side to beat at home. And Yano grabbing the lead. Do not forget Deserving of the lead with the way they've gone about business in the second half. Nuts Matizwa knocking another one in. That's goal number six of the campaign. His impressive scoring run continues. Mm, Charlie. Mm, there's it's another back heel. Perusnaf. There is Perusnaf. Oh, the Sunhouse defense have they done enough? No, it's a penalty. Oh, they played them to shreds and ripping them apart. Above another stand, the back heel boys ripping through Mamilodi Sundowns and getting themselves a corner. A chance of the two goal cushion. Live it to their name, Cizwe. Those one two played the quick passes, the quick transaction, the standard also. Like the first goal we've seen, they got him quicker into the box. Unfortunately for Madisha, he didn't mean to tackle, but he slipped. And Parushna was in the right place at the right time. Look how he set himself up. And Penalty for me, Cizwe. A tackle, no business. You Libusa, couldn't even get Libusa. No, 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 it's Madisha. Look at that lunging tackle far away from the ball. Making himself big is a Nyango. Not big enough. But Cizwe gets the third to Arrows. The fans are truly believing that the road now is clear for three points.
Well, the ball floated in. Good numbers forward here for Sundowns. Can they find the back of the net before it's all done and dusted? Now, that's good movement! Oh, that's a good goal! Five! These sides have served up here. And it's Charlie who squeezes it in beyond Sibanda to make for an interesting last few minutes. First of the season for Andy Najali. Limusa with a lovely back heel. And Charlie doing equally as well. Now, could be an equalizer! Blast it over. Lekei with the opportunity, but I believe the defender does enough. Nervous moments, these for Golden Arrows. And there you have it. It's Golden Arrows that come from behind on a dramatic afternoon of Amsa Premiership football to beat Sundowns by three goals to two. At one point, they had the two-goal cushion in the second half just to add to the drama. Sundowns pulled one back in the last few minutes. It's the stuff super disky dreams are made of as Golden Arrows and Sundowns serve up a thriller. Arrows winning it by three goals to two. We are joined now by coach Steve Kombela of Abafana Besele. Coach, just talk us through this performance under these conditions. Yeah, I thought the referees did very well. They must be commended. It's very difficult to manage a game under these conditions. But I thought both teams as well were very disciplined. There was more of your sweet aggression, where whoever has possession needs to be pressed. And as soon as you lost possession, you have to press yourself. And within the confines of the game, and it's amazing, it was raining, there were some patches of water, but players kept going, there was lots of respect to the game. And with regards to the outcome, it's a great three points for us, three goals, nervy moments towards the end. And Sundowns, you cannot question their quality, they are a top side. And Pizzo and Mangob and them are doing a great job. But we are just delighted with the victory. I, I thought Knox could have maybe had a head trick. Sometimes they are too nice, and there are no Mr. Nice Guys in life. Mr. Nice Guys would always come second. And maybe maybe then looking forward to the next match. But as I said in the pre-match, that if we can find a way to impose ourselves and have the discipline to defend as we would, we are very disciplined defensively, and we seem to be having now the confidence to go forward and score goals, and we are happy for the players. Speaking of being happy, you were happy with the performance, I mean, because your first change only came in the 88th minute. Was it necessary? Not really. It wasn't necessary. If it ain't broke, why fix it? One, the minute to make a sub, you're trying to sort out something. And most of the elements in a game were all proper. Oh, from on top, in the second line, into the midfield, at the back, it was okay. It was all about maybe let's get some fresh legs or do what football does, where there are subs. And as soon as we did that, we almost suffered a setback, which then tells you that the level of chemistry, camaraderie, that they were going through pain together for whatever time, as soon as you make changes, the energy swifts a bit. So I think, I think, in as much as we made the subs, we, we could still survive without. Hoping to make it a double in the TKO? Hey, let them be. <laughs> let them be. It looks like twins. Twins against Polokwane City, twins against Supersport. Let's pray again that God delivers this twin. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, madam. Tough conditions. Coach, please talk us through the performance. Tough conditions. Please talk us through the performance. Yeah, uh, as I said, difficult game. Yeah, what can you say? Difficult conditions for both teams, obviously. Um, yeah, the biggest mistake by our number one goalkeeper. It happens. Uh, it's the conditions, you know. Uh, we applied the wrong technique and the ball bounced differently. But it's okay, we accept. What were you looking for when you brought on Ali as well as Villa? Come again? What were you looking for when you brought on Ali as well as Villa? No, we tried to get the speed behind. And uh, uh, that change, to be honest, helped us. And that's why Villa was a little bit, uh, he managed to go through on the right and once or twice. I thought uh, Lunga could have been booked on that foul because the referee spoke to him three times. Uh, yeah, I think the third time he's going to book him, but he didn't, but it's okay. 
So we got the goal. We could have even scored the last one in the last minute, to be honest. But it's okay. It's uh, difficult conditions, a difficult game for us. Yeah, we never. Th I never thought we would we'll lose this game. There's an opportunity to rectify today's mistakes, though, in the TKO semi. Yeah, I don't know if you can play the game here in this pitch uh, because the drainage is not good and the technical uh, um, the referees guy, what do you call it? The guy who looks after the referees was also complaining about some bad patches. It's a good pitch, but it's got some bad patches where the the sprinklers are, to be honest. But uh, it's okay. Let's not go there. I mean, the PSL knows why they brought the game here. Um, I don't know if the the semi-final, this, this this the stadium can take the semi-finals. But uh, I don't want to make that as an excuse because both teams played here. But it's okay. What can I say? We come again. We we have to try more. Thank you, coach. Yeah, it's okay.